Your alarm clock rings. Do you jump out of bed or hit the snooze button? Do you take cream, sugar, or both? We make thousands of decisions every day. Some are easier than others. But at the end of the day, do we really have a say? What if choice is simply an illusion? What if every decision you make is determined by your biology? What if who you are, what you do, and who you become comes down to just a bunch of neurons firing automatically within your brain? This is what if, and here's what would happen if we didn't have free will. Back in the 1980s, physiologist Benjamin Labette designed an experiment to determine whether or not we have free will. He asked a group of volunteers to sit still for a while and then told them that they could move a finger whenever they wanted to. Labette scanned his subjects' brains during the experiment and noticed a spike in brain activity moments before participants became aware of wanting to move. This experiment seemingly proved that free will is simply us taking ownership of decisions the brain has already made. We all know the 80s were out of control, but now ask yourself, are you? Many of today's scientists are skeptical of the idea of free will. It's more likely that your thoughts, your actions, and your behavior are determined by a constant sequence of neurons firing within your brain. Some even suggest that with a complete understanding of someone's brain architecture and how it's been shaped from birth, you could predict their choices with total accuracy. If that's the case, then we don't have free will. But what exactly does that mean? It means you're free. You're not responsible for anything. In fact, no one is. Forgive any of those bad habits you might have. They can't be helped. Stop working so hard. If you were born smarter, you'd be an A student. Commitment? That's not like you. Crime? What crime? Should you be punished for an act you didn't choose to commit? It turns out we need free will. Real or not, a society without accountability simply can't function. In several studies, it's been proven that people who don't believe in free will are more inclined to feel stressed, depressed, unmotivated, and to act immorally. When life seems meaningless, we stop seeing room for improvement. We don't try as hard at work or at home. We stop looking out for each other, and even ourselves. In a world without free will, there's no praise and there's no blame. There's no right and there's no wrong. There's simply no reason. But don't give up yet. Hear me out for just 200 milliseconds. An argument from Benjamin Labette's experiments is that roughly 200 milliseconds pass between when the brain activity spikes before the body moves and when somebody becomes aware of their decision to move. And this is just enough time to veto any decision your brain has made without you. In other words, you can act otherwise. As long as you believe your veto was a choice you made with your own free will. So, what will you decide? Will you sleep in or seize the day? Life is full of choices, but if you want to expand your options, then keep saying yes to what if.